Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Trillium and this is courtesy of Jeff, so thank you so much. This is Party Pump and if you guys went to keg parties in college, um, you know what a Party Pump is. Yeah, the kegs, you pump them up, foamy beer all the time of some kind of adjunct locker and this is their heritage to some of those uh, fun memories of, uh, you know, holidays, college, blah, blah, blah. And this is their corn lager. Party Pump is a corn lager, 4.23%. Uh, this is made with a Valley... Uh, corn so let's think to it so beer comes in a nice like old color yeah. it has a touch of kind of um a haze to it and uh, let's get it on my phone it smells oh. like lager yeah it smells like a skunk part yeah it smells like a uh, standard lager um if anything, the malt that they use is probably high quality and like less of the corn malt. Um, a lot of the corn that is used in macro lager, most of it, I believe, is actually dextrose versus actual um, corn end. But it does smell like actual like, macro lager, right? Yeah. Generally, yeah. It smells like macro lager. Disclaimer, not a lager fan myself. Yeah. A little bit of corn chip, a little bit of like light brightness. Well, but a lot like cleaner. Like, you smell the cons. Skunk, skunk, by the way, actually smells like skunk. There's, there's no skunk. It's not skunk. You don't it's even have skunks in New York. Yeah, well, it's not skunk. So it has a little corn chip kind of Frito thing. Cheers. We have skunks in Michigan. Yeah. Mmm, nice. So, there is a beautiful kind of... um. It tastes like corn chip. Yeah, there's a little bit of corn chip, which is... Um, Unsalted Fritos. I believe the um, uh, flavor is uh, 2AP, which is... Um, I did a sensory program, so 2AP is a chemical... That is actually quite nice. It's actually quite different from um, a DMS, which I'm super unsensitive to. Uh, 2AP literally smells like fresh made uh, tortilla chips. So that's one, that's one of the flavors you can learn about beer. And there's some flavors that like don't smell like all flavor. Uh, this has that kind of a little bit of that flavor. So there's certainly a, some amount of 2AP in here. It's like Fritos, corn chips, you know, that kind of flavor. Unsalted. Yeah. Unsalted. Yeah. Well, you can't really smell salt, but sure. You can't smell salt. I'm uh, talking about taste here. We're on the okay, taste. Yeah. We're on the tasting portion. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So it's a nice crisp lager. Um, it definitely tastes like craft lager, right? There's not that kind of like bland, kind of like strange watery thing. The malt sort of stands on the palate a good amount. Uh, there's a little bit of corny thing maybe, but honestly. Generally, I would have guessed this was a craft Hellas, you know, full malt beer. I don't really uh, fully throw myself in. And, and 2AP can exist in Hellas and Pilsner, so. I'm sure you can't smell salt, though. I mean, not in this beer, but, like, in general. The Pilsner malt is just so dominant. Uh, they use Pilsner malt, which is, like, so def definitive and so crafty, which tastes like, um, some people call it white grape. Um, I call it a little bit grainy. There's a little bit of that kind of just, like, raw grain kind of note to it. Yeah, I agree. What's your final impression on rating on this one? The reason I chose to give my full disclaimer on not liking lager is because I knew I wasn't going to be a particular fan of this style. Um, it's not awful, though. I will say I've had some pretty awful lagers, in my opinion, that other people enjoyed. This is actually pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. Being from the Midwest. It's a little bit floral note. You get a little bit of hop quality on this one, or no? A little bit. I think being from the Midwest, I have a special appreciation for corn. Um, grew up in the cornfields myself. Well, actually, a little bit north of the cornfields in the woods. Um, so I, I appreciate the corn flavor in this, oddly enough. It's a really weird thing to appreciate. I'm not going to lie. Um, actually, oh, shit. It's actually pretty good um, for a lager. Um, I'm going to be generous with this, with this one because I know that me being impartial is just kind of not fair. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it like a, we'll, we'll give it an 89. Sure. So for me, uh, this one actually tastes a little bit more like a Hellas than I think it does taste like a um, corn lager in their opinion. True. Yeah, um, absolutely. They, the, the, the full pills and malt, it really tastes like craft lager. Like you could not, like if I give you this versus a Miller, lightning day. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, sure, for sure. This tastes like craft lager. It's got a little bit more thickness to it yeah, than, than, it, than more, the typical lager. It's it more flavor. There's Pilsner malt in here. Despite the use yeah. of uh, corn, it has a uh, full malt flavor to it. And honestly, I would have guessed this like in style. Mm. 
and there's a little bit of floral hoppiness. So this could be either be a really subtle pills that a brewery could do, or they're hellas. It, it really is in that realm. There's no joke here that this is not their true take on corn lager. Granted, you're just so heckin' cute. <laughs> anyway, um, there, there's you know you can really try to sell a corn lager and try to like you know play it off as something like Miller or a, a bud and like you know sell it at their price point which would be ridiculous but uh they're obviously making a product that is highly superior and i really enjoy it and um you know it's weird that they play it like so, something like to sort of chug as a kind of like a party pump kind of beer but i think it does a great job in my opinion this is elevated this is not party pump this is hollis this is a subtle pilsner it has a beautiful malt quality it has beautiful uh happiness to it and I'm not going to rate it, not as like what they're trying to play it as their ethos of, again, this kind of party pump kind of um, a beer. Uh, this is beautiful lager, well made by Trillium. This, for me, gets a, I can drink a lot of this. This is delicious. It is good. It is delicious. It's crushable for a This is a 95. 95. For a lager. Lager, 95. I got him that bell for his birthday. 95. This is uh, <laughs> one of the better crushable lagers I've had recently from a craft brewery. Trillium kills us. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.